I like margin fishing for carp. Line concealment is really important, so I use slack lines and a lead free leader to keep everything on the bottom in the vicinity of the rig. So the subject of this video is how to splice a lead free leader for carp fishing. To splice your own lead free leaders, you'll need a splicing needle. I like the ESP needles, they're only thin, but they do do a really good job. You'll also need your lead free leader material. Personally, I wanted Fox Camo Submerge, but every time I went to the shop it was sold out, which tells you how popular it is. I ended up buying PB Products Silk Ray instead. To be honest, one lead free leader is much the same as another, and I don't think there's anything between them. They all come in around the same price, and the PB Products stuff has actually done me quite well. To splice a lead free leader for carp fishing, take your splicing needle, go in about six inches from the end, of your lead free leader you'll go in with the hook and then turn the splicing needle round through 180 degrees and come up through the middle of the lead free leader material make sure you go up the whole length of the needle so you've got a nice long splice and then come out through the wall of the lead free leader material hook the end of your lead free leader material and close the gate on the splicing needle and then all you do is draw it back through draw the lead free leader material back through and pull it out the other end. Because you started six inches from the end of the lead free leader, once you've drawn it back through, you've got enough to close the loop of the splice to make it the exact size that you want. Once you've closed the loop on the lead free leader material, just snip off the remaining tag and then pull the leader tight. And that's your loop spliced. You can cut your lead free leader any length you want and then all you've got to do is splice the other end the same and you've got a perfect looped leader. You can use a looped lead free leader as I do for slack line margin fishing and they're also pretty good for PVA bags because you can make up your PVA bags in advance with a fake hook bait and you can keep a stack of them ready to go so you're not constantly having to make them on the bank. So the lead free leaders are actually pretty good. If you prefer to use rig tubing Here's a video in the top right hand corner about the inline lead setup. You can replace the rig tubing with lead free leader if you want for this setup and it works quite well. In the bottom right is my favourite carp rig and I will be using this lead free leader for margin fishing with a cog lead setup and that's coming up. So there's a subscribe button there in the top left hand corner if you want to see that. Thanks for watching how to splice a lead free leader for carp fishing and until next time, tight lines.